Oh, here's hey, trouble. Fancy meeting you here. Hey, oh, yeah, all right. Good, good. What's hey, boss, how you going? Yeah. Fancy seeing you guys. How's it going? Yeah, just uh, just finished some lunch, mate, and uh, we're heading back into the show to do round two and you know figure things out, see what's what. Good show. Yeah. What do you think of it so far? I like it. It's great getting out, you know, um, pumping shoulders, catching up with people, networking. It's good fun. Yeah. Awesome. Better than being behind a desk. <laughs> True. <laughs> good to be up in Sydney as well. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. We'll uh, we'll head in, shall we? See you around. Cool. There's some battery stuff going on. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, the top of Gumby's head looked exactly that shape. Did you say last time we put his eyes on it? Yeah, if you put these eyes on there, that's Gumby. I want to see some batteries, I want to see some storage, kilowatt hours, lithium, nickel, cadmium, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Check out this truck business right down the back straight yeah, away. Can yeah, can we do the truck? Ta -da! Good music. <laughs> <That was perfect. laughs> We're allowed to have a poke around. Yeah, go for it, Mike. Go for it. Thank you. Good, good. I think you may, no, I think you're right, hybrid, I'd say. No, hang on. It's like a DC motor. But then it's got cooling. Come on, how long has it been since you've been under the hood, Mick? What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. You told me you knew how to do this. I don't know. I'm looking for a rotary <laughs> engine and it, I, I don't know. It doesn't look like one. They're the actual battery modules over there. And so it's retrofitted to a Western Star truck. These are the batteries in it. That's it. Yeah, I mean, you got them like over there on display with the glass top. Externally, that's the only giveaway for me that, it, that it's, you know, yeah. That it's electric. And I can't yeah. see an exhaust on it. So. Well, once, the, once you put the bonnet down, you're not really going to be able no, to no. tell, can you? This is transporting goods, right? So, you know, we're not talking about people aren't going to have these in the garage. No, I think there's more, sorry, stop I think there's more to be gained from this end of it than residential and personal use. I think business use is where it's at. They're the ones I think, I mean, to this day, if you have a look at who the first people uptake on hybrids, they're like power station owners and they're, they're buying a hybrid fleet of Priuses or mm. Nissan Leaves and things like that. Yeah. Um, but in this instance, you're, you know, take away autonomy because you're going to save the cost of a driver. But um, just batteries alone, the cost, I think things are more levelized. You could have a factory and charge your own batteries. You don't need to talk to BP or someone about having a fuel card and getting a good deal or where you fill up or that sort of stuff. So yeah. You can maybe, you know, your, your costs there are uh, more stable. So I guess, you know, when you're quoting big projects, I mean, you know, you got a better base. It's not going to fluctuate because you might have a massive factory with solar panels on it filling up all your batteries. They come in, change them out, off you go. Another thing, if you can have an exchange program as well, which some people have spoken about, then you're not sitting there for, I don't know, even high flow diesel, I'm just guessing, 10 minutes to fill up. Yeah. 10 minutes you don't have to worry about. Go in not only that, but I mean, like, if you think about it, if we could immediately switch all the petrol powered uh, trucks or diesel powered trucks over to electric, electric yeah. and go autonomous at the same time, right? Yeah. You know, I think, what is it? You, got, you can only drive 10 hours a day before you need to have like a. You gotta eight keep hour, a log, you gotta have a rest. You gotta have yeah. a rest. That's out the window. No, so on. there's no driver, there's no need for arrest. I mean, everyone... So you've effectively doubled the workforce as far as the, you know, the amount of trucks in the, that are able to be used at any given time. I mean, but definitely you're not losing um, sleeping shifts, rest shifts, petrol stops, everything, you know what I mean? Like, even, even like um, maintaining, think about the maintenance costs. Any motor, like if, I will use Tesla for an example, people have asked me the question. You buy it, it's maintenance free. You change tyres, I think that's about it. Maybe fill up the washer fluid, that's it. Yeah. That's the maintenance. It's like a battery drill. You, unless it breaks, like snaps in half, you don't maintain that yeah, normally. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so the maintenance schedules and that, the amount of kilometres these things do, I'd say, you know, every 10, 15, they'd be wanting to have a service that's off the road, it's not making money. And I could just, you know what I mean, like all day. Yeah. I think it's exciting. I think, you know, we're talking about this and hydrogen and other forms of fuel. Apart from the fact that we're getting away from coal, like it's a big win. But I mean, these guys, it's when, I think when the logistics and trucks and say trains and that start getting involved and, you know, mm. I think that'll be one of those curves, you know what I mean? Big ground swell and then boom. All right, well, uh, how about we curve our way over to see uh, some BYD batteries? What do you reckon? I'm in. Okay. This looks a bit more residential slash, you know, maybe commercial because of the size, 8.3 to 6.6. .6. So this so, is an on-grid solution? Yeah, for sure. Well, it's battery backup, so yeah, on grid solution battery. Okay, so it's good. So it'll, it must probably have. So minimum 8.3, maximum 66.2 kilowatt hours. Yes, so it sounds like 8 times, what's 8 times 80, 64 times 3, yeah, so 8 modules, I'd say. Okay, I So see. that's 4 modules, and you'd have 8. Well, that there would be, possibly be 
66 odd kilowatt hours. What would you? What, what do you reckon would be the average battery size that's being installed on residential at the moment? I reckon it'd be close to 10. Okay. Uh, I know when people first started, and you go back to some of the other brands. The six kilowatt thing, when we, as a base, was a size, and then they go for you have like upgrades in like 3.3 kilowatt hours, like on the LG and some others. Um, but now it seems like they're doing smaller modules, but you can stack a lot more modules, like that one we saw earlier. Yeah. I think uh, some other companies and there's not just like two or three kilowatt hour packages or modules, and they're literally just stackable. You know what I mean? And I think that thing that 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 I like that because batteries, honestly, like a lot of guys that do solar, like I'm nah. It's like I don't want to be bothered learning all these new techniques. Like they're making it really easy. Like they're calling the other one a DIY, DIY system. Yeah. It's because you're literally just stacking it. All the smarts are inside, the switching's inside. All you're doing is connecting the, the, the power cables and, and they're plugged in so they're not dangerous the way they've designed them, I think. Yeah, you need to be a certified electrician to install all these things. I really think you need to. But the thing is, when off, off grid and on grid are a little bit different because on grid's a lot more um, scrutinized and uh, regulated because there's uh, usually there's a lot more STCs involved. I'm quite sure you can get STCs off grid as well. But there's a lot of people that just do off grid systems and they're not even interested in like. STCs, rebates, they pick products that aren't on the list because they've got to be on the list. They pick other things that are good that just don't focus on, you know, things that are so mainstream, like yeah. what we're seeing today, you know what I mean? There's a lot of like, uh, people will use lead acid batteries or, you know, all this other stuff. They just use that. They use old MPPTs, things like that. They still make it work and there's nothing wrong with it, but these things are super smart. I know the efficiencies, like BYD, as far as I know, now, this is a massive company. I mean, I've seen surgical equipment and masks made by BYD in hospitals, you know, stuff like that. I've seen... Yeah, they're at least a medium-sized yeah. to small business, right? You know? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I think one, two, three thousand staff, maybe, minimum. Every I would country, say probably In every more. country, in every country, <laughs> yeah. I mean, in every city, in every country. The real positive thing that I've heard from installers myself about the BYDs, I think it's a lot more user-friendly with every inverter, whereas some batteries are like, I'm with that inverter, or these oh, guys, or okay. I'm a, I don't want to say the other brands, but you know, I only work with that, you know yeah. what I mean, or those two, or with low voltage, or high voltage, you know yeah. what I mean? These guys have, I think, something for everything, yeah. and that's why I think people are liking, because you don't have to do all that extra work, is it compatible, does the communication talk, they've done, from what I've heard, they've done all the work to make it, you know, communicate with almost everything, it's totally flexible, and honestly, like, I'd love to see their numbers, because I reckon they'd be up there. I know everyone talks about some of the other more well-known like household names but BYD when I see like you know, you know solar cutters you go on, on, on Facebook and that they're, they're killing it what do you reckon like what's the next five years what does that hold I mean next five years I see I see I see volume on the back of volume uh, you know, the cars will bring the volume they'll bring the cost down um, at Trojan horse good term these things are going to get into homes a lot quicker than cars are because of the cost but they'll be get comfortable with the name. The BYD company, you know, I've, I've seen them on surgical equipment, vehicles, home storage. I think Australia, I think the homeowner is going to know what BYD is. Once that really latches on, that's when we'll start seeing a big uptake. You know, the government has been incentivizing a lot of other states. Maybe they do a bit more work there. New South Wales hasn't seen any real incentives with batteries, so it'll be a massive uptake, to be honest. Well, look, they're an old company. I mean, you know, founded in 1995. I don't know if you knew that or not. But, no. Uh, yeah. Got me. <laughs> I was listening to the thing on the oh, TV no. while you were talking. Uh, did they tell you where we're going next on that thing? <laughs> I don't know. Where are we going next? I don't know. I would like to possibly see Canadian, to be honest. Canadian. I They've been around guys. for ages and we haven't seen them. And they and do plus, some good things. you know, we're just about to launch in Canada, so... Wow, pretty you just gonna, I like you just dropped that. Pretty like, excited you know? about that too. And so. Blair Pester's here and everyone said he's not here. <laughs> he's here. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah that's good. Cool. Cool. Maybe we should go to the Winneco stand. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we should. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> How's Sean behaving? Um, I don't know. Like, he's sort of taken the lead this year, which was weird, like last year. <laughs> Um, he was like, you know, blah, 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 rainbows, unicorns, and then I was all the data, but he's like, he's right in there. Like, I mean, super impressed. I'm a bit like, I think he wants to take my job. I'm a bit concerned. It's just a solar panel, Sean. Is that what this is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the width is. Because this uh, looks wider. I reckon she's 1100-ish. I mean, it seems to be the go. Anything in that 
that class normally, and it's you say it's not too tall. This is the panel that I remember when I interviewed at Glenn Morris's place, um, Vincenzo and Michael. Vincenzo mentioned that this was coming out. This is the one that they were talking about, actually. What's happening this year? What's happening this year? Uh, well, there's uh, there are big disruption happening happening in the industry. I would say, you mm -hmm. know, for the last probably ten years, we've seen only uh, like uh, 156 millimeter cells, and then bang, <laughs> we are 166, 180, 210. Um, a lot of R and D uh, was uh, yeah a lot of expenditure in R and D from the largest uh, largest manufacturer, and uh, yeah we got we got here. So Canadian solar in the utility space is uh, this year is uh, bringing the six hundred and fifty, and they will go up to six hundred and eighty by Q four twenty twenty one, which is. Uh, unbelievable mm. and um, yes it's a, a really uh, exciting I think that the product is really um, can can be a game changer the Canadian solar product I really believe that I see this panel I want to pick this panel up <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that often you know what I mean so. 25 year warranty on materials and workmanship nice I mean like all the stuff a lot of the stuff here but most of it, especially their product it looks tidy man like just the way things are built how long have we dealt with uh, Canadian or worked with them Long on projects? Because they've been uh, around from day one. -ish. Yeah, we've worked with, we worked with them, you know, globally for I'd say at least ten years. You know, the Japanese guys worked really closely. They're very strong in Japan, like we were as well. Are they in Canada? Yeah, they're in strong in Canada. I like Canada as well. well you know? <laughs> um, you know, I know they're Canadian, but yeah. obviously now that we're entering the Canada market, um, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but uh, you know, we'll definitely work with them over there too. We touch these 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 panel manufacturers in a very intimate way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> we got to make sure that the that, uh, that it all works Show together, the and like, that we yeah. understand what the the new panel sizes are going to be. Um, you know, it's 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 good. Like but, even you know, seeing, sorry, I've got a lot of respect for these guys. I've been going to these shows a lot, and they all do it. But like looking at a cell efficiency of like 22, you know what I mean? Like it was. I felt like yesterday when, as an installer, reading um, building specifications and seeing things like use Clenergy, yeah. that used to be on there, or you know, alternatives similar to Clenergy. Yeah. Um, but then cells with efficiency of 18 percent at or 16 percent as a minimum okay. you know? but it has that that's huge like huge gains but i think that's what's helping because i think they're now focusing more on the power density because yeah the panels are getting too big what's so, hetero junction technology well it's our latest cell technology it has a lot of benefits it's end tight it gives you much better performance in low light in higher temperature it's okay. an all around a better product for residential it's, it's brilliant 25 year product 30 year uh, performance warranty it's just a cracker really so beautiful it's the next it's the evolution we were talking about i like i like the dimensions is yeah. that something for, for, that you guys the, sort of took plus. into, yeah. you know, took into consideration? Because absolutely, I mean, it's tough for installers, right? The models just keep growing. Yeah. But you know, this thing is efficient as it is. We manage not to not to grow too much. Yeah. And pack a whole lot more power. I mean, these are coming out at 430 watts at the moment, so yeah, it's great for for systems where they want a battery and they want to maximise the, the root generation. This is the, the product for. Them. All right, well, let me ask you this then. Where do you think panels are going to be in the next five years? I'd like to think... Or to, Is it just going to be one big panel on the roof? No, I don't think, it, I don't think <laughs> they're going to stop. I think there's so much momentum behind making large panels for utility-scale projects. Yeah. I don't think they can peel back from that, not for, not for a few years. So that's, that'll keep going to some extent. Yeah. Like, but that won't be limited. That'll be limited to what machinery can do. Mm. What machines do you have to, on, a, on, a, on a site where you can get in amongst all the rows on, a, say, one of our solar terraces and how can you lift it? Because it, it won't be humans that are doing no. it. No. Right? Um, but I think with the resi market and things, if you've already noticed, like uh, uh, Jinko and Trina, where we were today, I know we're talking about Canadian now, they've all got a, a, a class leader in that early 400 range in a decent sized panel. I think yeah. they've heard and they're listening. Yeah. So, look, they might grow again, but I think they're going to go back to trying to focus on those things or, I mean, it's more expensive, but it might be smarter to just start doing bifacial and everything. Because you want to get another two percent. Let's get it from beside the panel, from um, indirect sunlight. Like, think of other ways of getting the percentage apart from making it yeah, bigger. Yeah. You know, like I don't know, make the frames thinner so you can fit more cell in, or 
little things like that, you know yeah. what I mean? But, I, but really, like, where else? I mean, the next step after that, it needs to be a massive step in some sort of innovation mm -hmm. in some different space. Now, how's Nick performing this year? He uh, says that you're taking his job. Well, you know, it's... <laughs> It's a little bit hard because he knows everything and I know nothing. So I, I guess he's doing his job then, really, you know. I know what I need to know and he knows everything else. So he's doing well. He's all right. Yeah, I'll keep him. I'll give him another 12 months. <laughs> Well, obviously a technical background. Uh, solar installer since 2008, yeah. yeah. So, and well, still you, am. You, I still... you learned a lot from being an installer because I'm actually a scientist researcher. I actually made solar cells in my student days. Um, you're just talking about your scientific background and do you want to fill me in about that a little bit? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, first of all, I'm impressed how much you know because from my scientific background, I, as a student in the late 90s, early 2000s, I was lucky to be with Martin Green at the University of New South Wales. Yep. And I was there actually hands-on developing developing high efficient solar cells with low energy production. And these days, back then in a the laboratory, I reached 20%. These days, we rolled 24% off the production line on the cell lift. That's amazing. That's crazy. Payback period Australia, eight to 10 months in energy. Yeah, that's massive it. improvements, yeah. but. So in the late 90s, early 2000s, we couldn't imagine being here today and powering really, really the future. All right, where to next? I've been wanting to see Redback for, for, for two days now, and we've been here for two days, so let's go see them. Let's do Redback, and then uh, we're going to go and have some red wine. And then we're going to head back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Victoria, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what's the story with Redback? I, you know, I know the brand really well. I'm, you know, I, I bring this guy around with me, Mick, by the way, who... Uh, Mick, hey, nice Mick, to meet you. you this is the wizard. Victoria. The, the man who understands all the technical stuff. What have we learned already? Right. Or you know? nothing yet? Well, I haven't learned anything yet. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can learn something today. I think we're standing What do I need to, to know about this unit, for example? Um, yeah, so Redback Technologies is an Australian company based in Brisbane. Okay. And so we are the manufacturers of all the products you see on these stands right now. Yeah, cool. Um, this in particular is our hybrid system. So this is our 5 kilowatt single phase hybrid system. Mm -hmm. and and in the battery cabinet, you can get um, 9.6, 14.2 kilowatt hours of battery storage. In this cabinet, with the additional expansion, you can get up to 28.4 kilowatt. In the same cabinet. Wow. With the additional. Oh, but cabinet. so you can get like up to what was it? 50? Up to 28.4 kilowatt. Okay, hours with the expansion. With the expansion. That's cabinet. massive. I'd, like I mean, more, I use 21 a day at home. Oh, there's yeah, three right. of us, the wife and my daughter. There's, I'm just, it's a good way to sort of, you can actually <laughs> offset your usage with batteries. Yeah. I mean, and what, with the five kilowatt system, you could fill that every day and use it. Yes. You wouldn't, this, you'd be self-sufficient. This one's the five kilowatt single phase. We also have a 10 kilowatt three phase system that looks identical to this one, but obviously that's our three phase system. And yeah. that one, same uh, battery. Store. I think having a modular size, I'm sorry, I've got a bad habit of talking over people, I'm excited. <laughs> but when they're the same size, I think when you've got an installer, the cruise, and I, I would rather have have one that does three different sizes because they get used to the same process when they go somewhere. It's quicker. They allow that. They allow enough space in the right location because I know there's rules against, not against, about where you can install batteries and how they're installed. So I think having a modular size that you can do at a different size capacity is really good. It's got a pre-wired valve system ready to go. So all you have to do when you're installing it is just click all the pieces together, and no piece weighs over 32 kilos. So you can okay. lift each one. Yeah, you, nice. It's pretty heavy, so you might want to grab a friend, but you can, in theory, do it on your own. And I've actually seen our technical trainer install one of these in under 45 minutes. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking. So okay. 45 minutes, ease of install, all in one. Um, I'm looking at this as a, I've got an electrical background. Oh, yeah. Is all this sort of stuff pre-wired apart from, I guess... Um, this is all pre-wired. So basically you would run, you would run basically your solar cables into it, a cable to a switchboard somewhere, and maybe some communications? Or yeah, is it so the Wi-Fi? Got, you know, one couple of cables mm. down to the batteries, and you're okay. good to go. I like when it's all there, because if you've, if you've ever seen other things where there's a battery, there's an inverter, and there's all the... Well, it's nice, because it is all Exactly, all the cabling. So you don't need everything else on the wall. It's all in one neat package that looks good on the side of your home. I like the finish. No, I, was just, I was looking at that. It's different to what it's It's like it's It's almost it a is. cool white colour. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is, do you know, is it cast aluminium? It is. I think it is. 
Mm. It's just, you know, I've seen other products, they're like sheet metal. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's in a garage. That's why, you know, it's, it's got a bit of... Yeah, and these are um, indoor and outdoor rated, so you can install them on the side of a house, you can install it in a garage, and you okay. just go. And I love you. we're an Australian company, we've designed four Australian conditions, so yeah. this thing is ready for the hardships of the Australian sun, and even the Australian Temperatures, winters. and, okay, fantastic. Absolutely. Wind. So that sort of ticks the next boxes, I was going to say, you know, I guess you guys also listen to the Australian installers too, right, in the design, so well, which is quite unique. You absolutely. Know. I mean, the Australian installers are who we're creating this product for, mm. so their feedback is really important to us, and that's yeah. what we take um, on when we go and we work on the designs, and that's why we've also created a really easy-to-use step-by-step app for the commissioning process. Mm, so awesome. all you do is log on, and it takes you through step-by-step, really really simple and makes the commissioning process really quick and easy so that you can yeah, get it right nice. over time it's awesome i love that she's awesome hey also what an awesome company i love the fact that it's uh all australian main designs i mean like, you know i'm passionate about that shit. Well, we're trying to do as much as we can we're yeah. trying to pick you know, oh, capital cutter rail and things like that yeah. but um i mean i think with batteries in general i think that from what i've seen the fall down point a lot of these people coming in here is like 40 degrees max it sounds like they've taken that into consideration so mm. they might not be able to go over there they were, but they, um, um, it sounds like they'd be super efficient at the, they thought about the max temp the min temp things like that i mean why put it's big money right yeah and if it's not working but three phase you love it. i love three phase <laughs> i mean on another note they were fantastic but the show what do you reckon it's been oh good man, out. it's been a great day, really. You know, we've, we've, we, we, did, we achieved what we wanted to. We wanted to see some cool, cool manufacturers, review a few panels, inverters, some batteries. We got to see a big ass truck, which is always fun, right? Um, now, what do you reckon we should do? I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> you feel dry. Fresh at all? I don't know. Well, I, yeah, I'll maybe have a drink. I okay. don't know. You reckon? Do you mean? What, what do you want? A cup of tea or a glass of milk or maybe. a a beer or like beer, that sounds good. Oh, no, that be be cool. be. I like. I, think that I like. <laughs> Thanks again, cutters. I hope you enjoyed the content. Remember to caress that like button and the subscribe button, and uh, stay sexy. Ciao.